My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb in the year 2022. 2021 would have rhymed, but didn't. Jake, how are you? I'm not doing well with the new year, Jim. Stop with the voice shit, Zach. Just let us do the show. I'm good. 2022, big year, people are saying. Or it could be a shit year. Like, if recent success shows you that it's not. Recent success shows you it's not. I don't think success was the word you were looking for. <laughs> we'll be back 6 p.m. tonight. Nightly news. Jim, new year, new you, new me. New me. New me. New me. me. New, new, new me. Healthy. Be healthy. Have me tell you about the sports. Jake, can you tell me about the sports? Jim, everyone is talking about it. Zach Sky, Antonio Brown, little bit of a meltdown. He is a silly goose, and that's why we're talking about the goose feathers in the Kansas City Chiefs game. Yes! The Brown stuff's wild. I'm going to try and do a breakdown of it, but it's an interesting, touchy subject. This one's not. We had another football coach burn himself on a space heater. (laughs) No. Uh, We are officially a burn pod, and it's a solo show now. That's some New Year stuff for you. Oh, my goodness. I think I just manifested a frog in your throat. I just did my frog thing, and then you just went full ribbit on us. I did ribbit. Playback. <laughs> yeah, so we had another coach frog! stand next to a space heater and lit himself on fire. This one's a little different than the pants, which Harbaugh did. This is yeah. his jacket, so you can understand how he didn't feel it. More depth. But he burnt the shit out of his jacket. Yeah. Feathers everywhere. Anytime there's feathers. We like a good spill. Yes. I, I want I want people to start burning themselves more uh, on the oh. sidelines at NFL games. I take it back. Jim, speaking of people you don't like, here's almost a breakdown. Almost a breakdown today. We have the uh, Royal Guard trampling a child. The Royal Guard used to be a very real thing. Now they're just kind of like a tourist attraction. But no one told them they're not a real thing anymore. So they're marching around protecting the royal family. Also, not a real thing anymore. <laughs> Basically a farce. It's just a farce. Yeah. But there's a lot of people defending this, and you can see a little kid gets in the way. And I mean, you shouldn't get in the way, but little kids get in the way sometimes. The guy just screams in the most English voice, Make way! My part! <laughs> Which just, we have to admit that part's cool. <laughs> it is. <laughs> that part's that's cool. That's a fun way to announce that. But Make running, way! Running over little kids. And then he just tramples this little kid yeah. and like steps over him, like posterize him. And everyone in the crowd... It's like, what? Yeah. But then there are people supporting the Royal Guard. Zach, put the YouTube comments right here, and it's actually pretty. Like, everyone's like, no, that's what the Royal Guard does. That's what they do. Like, it's a serious thing. It's like, no, it's not. It's not a serious thing. They wear stupid hats. it's a serious thing. Trampling little kids. Yeah. (laughs) No thanks. Let's go back to the sports, back to the football, back to things going wrong. What happened, Jake? Jim, arguably things went right. Uh, Jim, your Philadelphia Beagles, they're winning football games. Hey, proud of you, Philly. Don't care. <laughs> What's their record? They're 9-7. and seven. Facts only. Uh, Jalen Hurts was leaving the game. He's getting his claps. He's waving and whammy. <laughs> High five. Crowd falls. Yeah, my grandma, my great-grandma used to tell me a story about this ship that was taking off. Uh, from the dock and everyone ran to one side of the ship to wave goodbye to the people on land and the ship just straight tipped over and a lot of them died. Is that a real story or just a life lesson? No, it's a real story that my Nana used to tell me and she'd giggle when she told it. The equivalent in this would be if the captain of that boat took a picture with all the corpses. What's your hand? 2022. Hertz is obviously the big winner. He's an athlete. Yeah, that inside shows a job, people inside. are asking. Who asked? People are asking, do you think Hertz people, you know, kind of rig this railing? Because he comes out looking great. Yeah, can we get my mic here? I feel like this is a bad look. I don't want that. What a fucking reveal. Jim, speaking of inside jobs, uh, you're made of fish. In the not sports news, it rained fish in Texarkana. Anyway, I can't find the story, but I loved the interview. It rained fish, and the news interviewed a guy to ask him (laughs) about the fish raining. And uh, (laughs) he gave them all the insight they needed. It was raining real hard, and a, a, a fish hit the ground. And I said, it's raining fish. 
Wow. Wow. I saw a fish on the ground. I said, it's raining fish. <laughs> wow. Made the cut. You How mean, many interviews did it make the cut? tough on him. He's 100%. He's I'm 100%. not tough on him. The news running that as if it adds to the story. They have to share the news. <laughs> so, he gave 100% <laughs> factual statement. Local news is hilarious. Hey, what happened here? It's raining fish. Wow. 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 <laughs> Great insight. Uh, so this happens, Jake, when there's a, there's something called a tornado. Heard of it. And there's something called a water spout. Same exact thing. But if it's over water, it's a water spout. Why don't they call them land spouts? Were tornadoes ever called land spouts? Seems like they should have been called. All the storms are the same stuff. Tsunamis or hurricanes. Like, it's all the same. We just. Is that a fact? We let the nerds go. Like 90% on that. Wow. One. I mean, come on. Scientists. So anyway, the. The. <laughs> goes over the water and some little fish get sucked up into the vacuum. Then it goes on the land and they fall. So it can rain fish. You know what the article said? That it can rain frogs as well. I did see that. I know you saw that. Employee, employee of the week. Should we give out the employee of the year from last year? Zach? I was going to give it to us. <laughs> oh, I'll take it. Zach. Zach gets it. Zach, to start the new year, let's like bygones be bygones. Bygones. How good of a phrase is that? Let's let bygones let's be let bygones. Let's let bygones be bygones. If you counted every time the word bygone was said. It's a double word. In the country. It's a double word. How many times do you think it was that specific sentence versus any other sentence that has the word bygone in it? I'd say 80% of the times a human used the word bygone, it was said in let's let bygones be bygones. I might be higher. Yeah, I think it, that might be low. I've never used bygone in an- A bygone error. That's another way you could say it. Good job, Zach. Let's have a clean year, Zach. Maybe no death edits. <laughs> He's so dead. Your mom's going to be pissed. Oh, and there's blood coming out of his mouth. The employee of the week- <laughs> <laughs> Do this a little, a little <laughs> spill like a, like a baby, like a baby puke of blood. Like, oh. <laughs> uh, the employee of the week. I don't know who is we it. We just did it. We gave out the employee of the year. That was last year. No employee of the week to start the week. Oh. I have three people in mind. Seems high. Maddie Mass for making the Jeopardy on Farm to John Fame. Party. Rob Schrocko for doing the Mario Kart. Yeah. But they both don't get it. Good job Zach. Comment below how many houses you think you've slept in in your entire life. I was trying to figure that out with my wife. We guessed it's somewhere between 500 and 700. About 10 a year. But then about 15 a year from like fourth grade to high school. I think you've slept in 500 houses. We did the math. Kate, you with Airbnbs? I've slept in a lot of places. Yeah. Do hotels count as houses? No. But apartments do. A, lo a living, like someone lives there. Like, Katie and I slept in 12 in this year. And I'm like, well, shit. Yeah. If I go back, 10 times 30 is 300. And then you figure that you probably did 15 for a bunch of years as a kid, sleepovers and stuff. Yeah, but you sleep over a lot of the same houses. But you just, in over the course of a year, it's, it's a couple, especially in college. Comment below. Comment below. That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode is brought to you by Noom. If you aren't already signed up, Noom is an app that uses a combination of psychology, technology, and human coaching to help you meet the personal health and wellness goals you would like to achieve. If you want to stick to your New Year's resolution in 2022, you can get a free Noom evaluation and a seven-day trial when you use our link at noom.com slash jomboy. It's a new year. It's a new you. It's a Noom. Dot com slash John Boy. Guy in Duncan today. No. The drive through. <laughs> no. Guy Duncan in the drive through. No. Say good morning and happy new year. How long can that last? Well, today is the first day, to be fair. I know, but how long? The fifth? End I took up a day to the face. End of this week. Do you want to hear about it? Yeah. I thought it was that I'd never seen uh, like a full bidet. I never had full access to a bidet. Sure. So I was messing with it and I was like, well, this is cold. I thought bidets were supposed to be warm and I was touching the sprinkling of the water and I twisted the knob thinking I was. Doing the heat, full blast bidet poof, into my eye, into my face. Sometimes your fingers freak me out just a little bit. That's not a trick. <laughs> you're just playing that. Do you know like who used to do this? Trick. Who used to do that? The woodshop teacher. That's how he explained gears to the Christ. students. Christ. 